Welcome to Electron Online. Here's our next example of how to find the inverse Laplace transform of our function 1 over s times s minus 2. So what we want to do there is realize that we want to write this as a sum of two fractions. So f of x, which is equal to 1 over s times s minus 2, can be written as a divided by s plus b divided by s minus 2. So next what we're trying to find here is find the values of a and b so I can write it as two separate fractions. What I can do here is simply multiply both sides of the equation here by the common denominator s times s minus 2. When I do that I get the following. I get 1 is equal to a times s minus 2 plus b times s. So what I did here is simply multiply both sides of the equation by s times s minus 2. Working that a little bit more, I get 1 is equal to as minus 2a plus bs. Now I can see here that on the left side I don't have an s term, which means the coefficient of the s term on the left side is 0, and on the right side I have an as plus a bs, which means that 0 equals a plus b, the sum of the coefficients of the two s terms. And then I have a 1 on the left side and a minus 2a, which means 1 equals minus 2a, because that is the constant term. That makes it easy. That tells us that a is equal to minus 1 half. And since a plus b is equal to 0, that means b must be equal to plus 1 half, because minus 1 half plus 1 half together gives us 0. Now that I have the coefficients a and b, I can now say that 1 over s times s minus 2 is equal to a, which is minus 1 half divided by s, plus b, which is a plus 1 half divided by s minus 2. If I now take the inverse Laplace transform of minus 1 over 2 times s plus 1 over 2 times s minus 2, like this, I then realize I can factor out a one-half, which means that this becomes one-half times the Laplace transform of minus one over s, and this becomes plus one over s minus two. Now the Laplace transform of one over s is the unit step function. Of course, with the minus, that becomes minus the unit step function. So this becomes one-half times minus u of t, and here this is a step function but offset by s minus 2, which means we need plus e to the 2t times the step function u of t. And again, sometimes we don't write the u of t, but you can do it for clarity, and then you can say that we can factor out the u of t, so this becomes equal to 1 half times the step function u of t, times what's left, which is minus 1 plus e to the minus, oh, did I say minus? Nope, that's plus 2t, because if this is minus, this becomes plus, so it's e to the 2t, and that would then be the inverse Laplace transform of the original equation in the frequency domain, and that's how it's done.